I've known Dr. Anderson Stoney for about 25 years. I'm a hairstylist, and he happens to be a client of mine. When I met him, he was just retiring from the Navy. He said, I had to wait to retire to find out how good I could look. Two years ago, in February 28th, uh, I had a colonoscopy, and it was a polyp that was cancerous and had gone through the wall. And that's not a good sign. But fortunate for me, I had good care. He was going to require chemotherapy and radiation. So Dr. Godfrey, one of our oncologists, excellent, took him under his wing and he went through the chemo and radiation. And he saw Dr. Tomasi, our colorectal surgeon, and he had the surgery. The treatment was good. They just had to go through it. It's not nothing anybody wants to go through, but if you want to survive and you want to be healthy, you have to take the treatment. It was hard. Uh, you know, he'd been a friend for a long time. And what I was hoping, of course, was that it would be a very simple operation and that we'd just been lucky to catch a very early tumor. But it wasn't that way. So, so when that happens, the main thing I do is just... Uh, try to support him through it. After his surgeries, he's, he's doing well. Everything's come back. He has a little numbness in his feet. But thank goodness for his uh, work. His hands and are all working well, and he's feeling well. He's an extremely positive person. He sponsors the, uh, a colon group here in San Diego. I had my surgery and everything was good. I did a walk with him. And this year, I did it again have a cabin in the mountains, and that's where I spend all my Sundays for the last five years. My hobby is now playing with the cabin, and my new hobby is playing with my granddaughter. It doesn't take a whole lot to uh, play with her and have a laugh. She laughs all the time. And I think that the idea behind everybody's life is have something that you do that makes you happy. Something that you can see, you know, you can see on a daily basis. Not many people have a friend that's going to give you bad news. And that friend's also going to stick with you. That friend, I'll never forget.